So back when I made shorts, I had one called Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th. I know it's very original. And now after months later, the stars have aligned again. We're ready for part two, baby. So what happened after that cliffhanger? Well, Alice dies in the first 10 minutes. So now we have a new cast. More skinny dipping and more makeout sessions. And this is the movie that introduces the big man himself. You see that ugly tart right there? Yeah, that's Jason. In five years, he hit puberty and hides his face. Because his mom's dead, he has to go on a rampage. And even though they're just teenagers again, we still have some good characters in this. Like, like this couple right here, they're pretty cool. And all their scenes are wholesome. We have a pervert, a girl with a dog, one of those wacky toy meals from Sonic, and our finalist, Jenny and Paul. Of which Jenny saves herself with excellent foreshadowing from the beginning. And then it ends with a nice happy ending, the dog. Eh, <laughs> fooled ya. It actually ends with her going to the hospital. Other than the characters, what I like about this one is the camera work. It is really amazing in this one. There are so many shots that last for at least a good 20 to 30 seconds. Puts a Fast and the Furious movie to shame. And my only negative is the fact that they keep using the ch 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 ha 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 My chi chi ha ha for a little bit, jeez. And also, why does it have a 33% of Rotten Tomato? It's not that bad. <laughs> this whole movie's like a 70%. I mean, it's Rotten Tomato. They gave Big Mouth 100%, so anything goes now. But why is Jenny going to the hospital? What happened to Paul and the dog? I don't know. I gotta wait a couple of months to go back. 